good morning, which is, hey guys, okay, it's uh, really, really early here, so I'm going to try to make this a short video, because I'm tired, because I just got home, it's like 5.30 in the morning, and I'm going to try and maybe get some more sleep, because I start work today, yay, <laughs> yay for me, <laughs> the only downside is to this, my job is the job, I'm going to be working at a vet clinic, which is not the downside, which I'm very excited about, because I love animals. I worked at a vet clinic when I was younger, when I was 14, and I only worked there for a very short time. I was like 13 or 14, and I had no commitment to anything, and I was very immature, obviously, and my very first job there was to get a, put away a dead animal, and that had to be put down, and so it was kind of traumatic a little bit, um, <laughs> so I'm excited today. I'm going to be the receptionist there, so I'm not going to be doing much with the animals, which is the only, kind of makes me sad, because I really did want to do a lot. I really wanted to help with the animals and stuff. I mean, she said that they can take volunteers and to do down in the back and help with the cages and help with the animals, because they, uh, there's boarding, but not for long. It's like for after surgery, because it's an emergency hospital. So, I'm excited. I'm super excited. Today, I get, oh, I can just finally start working, but... Then again, there's a couple things that have been going on here that are making me worried. Something happened yesterday, and it just literally felt like my whole world stopped. I don't even know where to go from here, except almost pretend like it's not gonna, it's not happening. I mean, but and that's obviously not healthy, and that's obviously not what I'm gonna do. I just, for right now at least, I want to focus on the good things in my life, and I want to kind of put what's going on with my husband, with whatever's wrong with him, in the back of my mind. So, but this video is not supposed to be depressing. This video is not supposed to be a poor me, pity me video, because no matter what will happen, I will wish it out, I will find a way. I'm not very good at actually, like, talking about my problems, so, like, that's pretty much all you're going to hear from me about what's going on in my life, <laughs> at least when it comes to bad stuff. Um, I'm not very good at being open with people, um, so... But I'll witch it out, I'll figure it out, and I'll learn and grow from it. And me and my children will, what's the word I'm looking for? Not survive, but we will, God, I'm, it's so early, I'm, my mind is like, <laughs> um, we will stride, strive, maybe, no, that's not the word, that is not the word at all, okay. We'll be fine. <laughs> How about that? We'll be fine. If I think of the word later, I'll make like a second video and just say the word. <laughs> All right. Deal? All right. Good. Okay. I wanted to show you, though, for um, most of you know, my birthday was on Saturday. Yay. <laughs> but then, boo, because I'm getting older. <laughs> I am 24, I think, or I'm 23. My dad told me I was 24, so I think I'm 24. Um, so I feel like I'm getting older. And that for me, I was one of those teenagers that thought I was going to be 17 forever. I swear, I never pictured my life outside of high school. Like, it was, it's so sad now that I think about it. Like, wow, I was really pathetic. <laughs> but anyway, <clears throat> okay, I want to show you guys what I got. I know, and I'm showing you the book. It's supposed to be a surprise. <laughs> I want to show you guys what my sister gave me, $40. I want to show you the two things I got for my birthday with my birthday money, and then something, some, two other, three other things that, one thing I've had that I've never shown you guys, one thing I just made, and a book that I got a month, or two months ago, that I've been waiting for to come in the mail, and it came to the, uh, the day before yesterday, so I am super excited, okay, this is what I got, my sister, I love her to death, Casey, I love you, you are the best sister ever. She she gave me forty dollars for my birthday, and I always tell her she doesn't have to get me anything. She doesn't have to give me money or anything, but she doesn't listen because she's amazing. <laughs> um, this is one of the okay. As you already know, I want to say this real quick. You already know my teacup broke, so when the because this is only eighteen eighty five, so I got another one. Yay! The only thing I'm upset about is I feel like look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, my cup. Oops. My cup broke. I still have the plate, though. So that's the only thing I'm a little bit upset about. Like, I have the book, and I have the plate. And the plate is the astrolo astrology one. When If you want to finish your reading, 
in your cup, and then you turn it over. And when you're done your reading, you uh, do your reading with the astrology plate. It's kind of confusing. I haven't gotten to using the actual plate yet, which I'm going to continue to work on because the reading is very natural to me. I love tea leaf reading. Tea leaf reading and palmistry are the most amazing forms of divination for me. They just come so naturally to me. Like it's, I don't know, it's like second nature or first nature, whichever one. <laughs> um, um, I'm sorry, I'm so tired this morning. I feel like a dummy, kind of like I don't, can't talk or can't think or whatever. But so I'm really excited that I got another one. I was gonna say, okay, and please excuse my nails. I haven't done my nails in forever. Two kids. I never have time to do my nails anymore. I used to always have tips and they used to always be nice. And, but yes, I'm getting off topic again. And so that's my cup, the cup of destiny. And I know it looks kind of corny. It looks, you know, a cup of destiny. Like it doesn't look. I mean, it's a pretty cup, you know, but I know, like, the box, and just, it seems like kind of a corny thing, but it actually, this cup, for me at least, and I've talked to a couple other people who have this cup, it is amazing, I don't know, I mean, it's, I had never gotten a, a bad read on this cup, it is, I, I, don't, I don't even know how to explain it, but this cup is absolutely, it's just, it has that energy of a witch on it, like, I don't even know how to explain it, it's just, it's perfect for me at least like this is my personal opinion if you have this cup and you don't like it then sorry that's you know I'm sorry but I love it <laughs> like it just it works for me and it just I can feel it and it's I don't even I'm I don't know what how I'm trying to explain this like it's like I said it's early I can't think right now but it's just my energy and the energy of the cup that I had just flow so beautifully together and it never it never is wrong like it never turns its back on me it's always there and it's always right on point and it it's beautiful so yeah so that's my cup of destiny so I got a new okay and then with the other $20 I got and that, damn like I had $40 and I spent it on the cup of destiny which was $18.95 and this which was like $19.95 at books a million yeah I was gonna get it online but I was like no I want it today because I, this week in our witchy versity group, which I will get, I'm going to make another video after this and show you guys what I'm going to be reading for my group, for the group. But I wanted to make this, I wanted to get this today, sorry, because I wanted to start using it for our witchy versity group. This week is the moon and sun magic and, you know, like in course it incorporates the stars and I, I'm very big on the moon. I'm starting to be more big on the sun. For some reason, I was never really that big on the sun and lately I have just, at sunrise, I watch the sunrise every single morning, and I watch it set, and it's just such a spiritual time for me, and in the middle of the night, when I go outside to Sphinx Theater, I just watch the beauty of the moon, and it's just the most amazing feeling, like, I, so, and I've always been very interested in stars, and astrology, and astronomy, and I've always wanted to learn the constellations, and I'm terrible at it, like, I can point out the Big Dipper, and the Little Dipper, and that's pretty much it, um, I can sometimes figure out what's the difference between a planet and a star, like, you know, because they have, like, different colors, and so sometimes I can figure that out, but we got a telescope even for my son, and he broke it, or my husband broke it, because he was mad or something, so, yeah, I mean, it was a cheapy little one, but still, that kind of pissed me off, and then I got this other book I showed you guys a couple of weeks ago, or, like, a month ago, for what I got for uh, Barnes & Nobles, and it was a uh, beginner's guide to the stars being our guide to astronomy or whatever it was how to find the constellations and look in the sky and how to you know how to find the difference in the sky what's a satellite what's a star what's a planet what's you know whatever so this book I have Sandra Kane's Sandra Kane Sandra Kane's I don't I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong I have her sea magic book I've never read I haven't read it yet I have so many books that I haven't read but um I haven't read it, but I skimmed it a lot, and it's a really good book. And when I saw this book, and lately I've been so drawn to the stars, and so when they said that this week in our group was going to be sun, moon, and star magic and whatever, I was just like, yes, okay, perfect, because I've been wanting to learn more about the stars and more about the sun and then as much as I can about the moon. I already know a lot, but, I mean, you can never stop learning about stuff like that for me. I mean, they've been around a long time. Like, I mean... You can't learn everything there is to know about the sun, moon, and stars in a couple days. Even a couple months, in my opinion. I mean, they think about how long they've been around. 
how much energy and information is out there. But, you know, I just, I mean, it's a topic I could go on and on about, but you get one point. You get my drift. All right. But this book is amazing. I've, I'm not very far in it because I've been trying to study, and so I'm only in the introduction, obviously, on page five. But it's in some things have been going on here, so I haven't really had time to really read. But, I mean, it's just, it's awesome. It's, that's the pledge. Um, it is just so freaking cool. I, I love stars. I love, sorry, I know I'm shaking this morning. I don't know why I'm shaky this morning. But it's so awesome. And then. It's got some about astrology in here. It's about... Okay, let me read the back a little bit. It says... Organized around the wheel of the year, star magic lets you easily navigate chapters corresponding to both you... To both your current season and hemisphere. Discover the constellations of each season, from Centaurus in spring to Andromeda in autumn, and dozens more. Use chakras, dream work, and astral travel to align with the stars and harness their power with the comprehensive book's simple and straightforward methods. You'll reach a new level of magic and wonderment that is out of this world. This book seems awesome, and it's thick, too. I love my thick books. I love a big, good old chunk, you know? I'm going to take a bite out of this book. <laughs> so I'm excited. Like, I've already started reading it, and I really, I might, I'm obviously not going to be able to finish the whole book for the group, so I'm probably going to skim it and, like, you know, like, study it. Oh, look at that. That's Perseus. No, no, I'm wrong. That's not Perseus. That would be so stupid if that was Perseus because that is not Perseus at all. I don't, because, sorry. I just saw the word Perseus. Okay, no. Monoceros, the unicorn, power of the crone. Ooh, okay, so uh, that, I could go on forever about that book. I'm excited. All right, and this is another book I'm really, I am was glad. I was really happy when I heard it was going to be around my birthday. What is that? Oh, my God. Sorry, it's a bead. My daughter was trying to make a bracelet last night with these little ass beads. <laughs> yeah, she got them all over the floor. All right, this, okay, I was really excited. I bought this book on Amazon, and I've been waiting for it, and I've been really excited waiting for it because it seems like such a good book. I love books about kitchen witchery and uh, hedge witchery and, you know, hearth witchcraft and just that kind of stuff. And, well, when it got here... I'm not mad that I got it because the Pagan Por Portals books I heard are all really good and there's some more I want to get about here. But if they're all this size, then I'm not probably going to waste my money. Like, I was skimming. It, she does have some cute ideas in here. Like, I mean, it's a cute little book. Like, it is, but it's not even 90 pages. It's like 85 pages altogether. And, I mean, it's it kept saying how there's plenty of information, there's plenty of this, there's plenty of that. And it's just, I mean, it's just, I don't feel like a book this little could give you a certain type of, you know, like it just, it can't, it can't give you that structure. It, does, it won't, it's not going to be able to give you that resource or what is the word? I'm, I can't fucking think this morning. Oh my God. It, it's just not going to be able to give you that history that, you know, that chunk that, like what I was saying about this book, like, you know, it's not, it's almost like not worth the reading in a way. Because it just, you know, I mean, it does, like, she's got some cute little things in here, some cute meditations. She's got, oh my gosh, sorry. You know, like a cute little, uh, what is that, an encyclopedia? Although, no, those are the water, earth, air, and fire, what the relations and correspondences to them. So, she, I mean, she does have some cute little things, but, and I mean, she's got, like, right here, what does it say? kitchen witch tools, the kitchen cupboards and tools of a kitchen witch, you know, so, I mean, it's, it's cute, like, but I just almost feel like I wish I would have saved my money and got a different kitchen witch, there was a couple other ones that I wanted, but I saw this one, and I'm not gonna lie, I love the fucking cover, look at this, it's a witch's bottle with a toad, I love it, lately I've been really loving frogs, so I thought the cover was adorable, <laughs> so, I mean, it is a cute little book, I mean, it's just, it's so small. Like, I could read it within a day. You know what I mean? And so, I'm going to read it, though. Like, I've skimmed it. I'm going to actually read it, the whole thing, and, you know, see how I feel about it. Like, it is a cute book. I'm not trying to be mean. I heard Rachel Patterson, she's the one who wrote the book, and I've heard a lot of great things about her. And 
I just wish that it was bigger. I wish it had more information. 